talk about writing data to a text file. So in Java, when you're writing and reading data from either a text file or the keyboard or USB port or another computer in the internet, you're going to use the stream. You're going to use streams, right? So it's a stream metaphor. So think of it as you know a stream of data. Data is coming at you. And you're either reading data from that stream or there's a stream that's going away from you. You are writing data to that stream, right? So you have both input streams and output streams. These are streams of data. So the nice thing about this is that if you know how to read and write data from a file, then you already know how to read and write data from another computer or read and write data from a USB port or from the keyboard, uh, etc. So right now we're going to be writing to a file. So the first thing I need is a file name. I'm going to call it out.txt. There's my file name. Now I'm going to need a stream, an output stream, to write data to this file. And uh, it's the one we use is called the print writer. Uh, out, I'm going to call the variable output stream is a new print writer and I pass it the file name as an argument. So this is going to create a new output stream of type print writer and uh, which is going to write to this file name out that text. And you see we got some problems here. The first problem and I'm going to do command one. This of course I got to import that. So import Java IO print writer there. Uh, still have a second problem here. I do command one there and uh, the problem is that uh, this print writer can uh, can raise. Let me show you here. Can uh, raise the file not found exception, and I'm not handling that. Uh, so uh, I need to handle that. So I'm going to surround this with a try catch block. So uh, in this case, actually, what happens is the print writer, um, if the file out the text does not exist, the print writer will create it. However, it could be the case that there is a directory named out.txt. It's a bad idea, but it could happen. In that case, we would get this exception. Or it could be that this file is in you know, some directory that I don't have access to. And uh, so that could happen. Uh, so that is what I need. So I need to deal with that. Uh, but now, let's say we're here. We open the file. Everything's cool. We can write to it now. And from now on, the way I write to it is I just use the output stream. So I say output stream dot println, and I say hi there file. So that is going to write, it's going to print this string to the file. So you see, it's called println, and uh, yes, indeed, you have been using an output stream all this time, right? So system dot out is an output stream. Is uh, actually a print stream. Um, so it is the same method uh, that you can be using. In this case, println to print there. Uh, so system out, of course, prints to the console. Output stream is going to print to the file name. So I'm going to put done here so I know that my program runs. I'm going to run this program. It says done. I'm done. And then if I go to my finder here, I can see that it did indeed create this file called out.txt. And uh, I can open that file. You see there's going to be a problem here. The, si the size of the file is zero bytes. That doesn't look good. I open it, and indeed, it is empty. Let's close it. And what happened? Well, what happened is that print writer, the way print writer, print print writer works is it stores information in the RAM. So whenever you do a println, it's going to store that information in RAM. And uh, in the RAM first. And that information only gets pushed to the file every so often, you know, every time it gets full. Uh, so that means that you know, we put this in RAM, then the program was done, and the data never got to the file. So what you have to do, you always have to remember to do, is close the stream. So when you close the stream, uh, this will actually 
also you know closes the stream so that means you cannot write to it after this so I can't write any more to it that would be bad and you will get an error um, but also flushes so flushes the data the data to the file so all the data gets flushed from the stream to the file uh, if you wanted to just do a flush without and keep writing, uh, you could do a flush right? uh, and then keep writing. So that's the method for that. We're not going to do that because we actually want the file closed. And uh, let's run this. And now that I run it, I can go back over here. I see oh, it's 15 bytes. I double click on it and it worked. Also, if I go over here to my classes, to my package browser, I can see the out.txt file is there in Eclipse. I can open it and there it is. Um, now, that might not have happened for you. Um, you probably need to go right click and refresh, or you know, go to File, Refresh, or hit F F5. And that will then, after you refresh it, then the file should, the out.txt file should show up right here. Uh, if you get tired of hitting F5, you can change it to do like mine does. Is, uh, you go to Eclipse Preferences, look for Refresh, then hit Workspace, and make sure you have these two guys checked here. So what these two do is basically automatically refresh your workspace uh, whenever something happens, um, which is what we did, and there it is. So there you go. We are writing to the file. We don't have to just write that stuff. We can write, you know, whatever we want. Let's write something more interesting. Uh, for in row goes from zero, row less than 64, row plus plus, and uh, for int column equals zero, column less than 64, column plus plus. So I'm gonna write star. And uh, so, you know, I have 64 rows, 64 columns, and each column is a star. At the end of the column, I'm gonna need to write a new line so I can get to the next line. I'm just gonna write the empty string with a print len that's gonna generate a new line. And close it. I'm gonna run this and then now you see i got 64 rows 64 stars nice go back here i can um, change this around a little bit let's say if row is even then i want to print this out else going to be odd and let's say I want to print a space out in that case save run check it out so now I have every other row I can change that to the column it looks like that I can now oops. I can then you know do play around with this this is fun I try to see if we can generate some interesting pattern, row path column mod two. What's that gonna do? Uh, moves everything to the right. Uh, multiplication. Get rid of that. If I change this to row plus one, run it, I get that. That's pretty neat. Um, so, fun with programming, right? Uh, oh, you should play around with that. So you see we have just, just a for loop generating data. The data is getting written uh, to the file. We just have to make sure we close it at the end so everything gets uh, written. And then we can open it. Uh, and 